Kai Green is an enigma. He is strange. He is weird. I've been accused of that myself. What the heck? Anyway, this is a matchup between Kai Green and Andrew Jack that you guys voted on. And, uh, you know, you picked it and voted on it. It won 55%. Seeing some comments. Some of you are getting just tired of Andrew Jack comparisons. Well, it's a popular guy to be compared to. So, you know, I guess we'll have to get used to it for the for the time being. But anyway... The reason why it is a good thing is because they get a lot of views, the Andrew Jack videos generally, and they get a lot of thumbs ups. And if you get this video up to 500 likes, 500 thumbs ups, that's all I ask. I will do all of the other three comparisons. There's some interesting ones in there. So oh, Chris Cormier, come on, come on, It'd be a good one. But anyway, anyway, this is the matchup at hand that you guys wanted to see. Kai Green, can he hold his own against this big giant jacked? Look at this big giant jacked. Jack and the Beanstalk, looks like he's the giant and Kai's the, the short little fellow. The jack him, I guess. But anyway, uh, Kai Green, he's not petite. He's not that short, but he, he looks like he's about 5 feet 4 inches in this comparison. Andrew Jacked is just so big. Big in the wheels and upper body. Mm, Kai has some lats. It is a very impressive uh, setup of lats, but I think uh, Andrew Jack definitely winning in the torso heap and the quads as well, like I said. But arms, look at the impact of Kai Green. Kai Green, wow, does he have some good bicep peaks, biceptuals at that. Hmm? Anyone? Wow. Here is a front lat spread. I told you guys I'm strange. Maybe not as strange as Kai Green, but I don't know. For those of you who know me personally, you're probably thinking, well, yeah, he's pretty, pretty strange. Pretty strange. But I get stuff done, and so does Kai Green. Like a victory, maybe, in the front lat spread, maybe. Even though the clavicle width, the chestal width, the delts of uh, Andrew Jacked are untouched on today's stage. Kai Green, wow, he's not on today's stage. And it looks like he is and always was winning this the uh, front lat spread. It's Dorian-esque. He's the Dorian Yates of his time. Wow, what a good pose. Turn to the side here. And it looks like Andrew Jacked. He's getting out muscled. I might have liked him in the front double, but he was losing in the arms. So take it for what it is. It's a front double bicep, you know. But anyway, we're on the side chest. We're on the side chest. Different version. Maybe the nighttime. The next day. The Saturday show for Kai Green. Huh? Huh? Wow, look at the quality of the quads of Kai. That's a tongue twister. And the quality of the upper body. Little bit of stomach distension. And it is the uh, 2012. So it's a, it's a leaner version of Kai. I don't think it's stomach distension. I just think the guy is a... Built like a power lifter. He's thick. Thick all the way. Thick dude. <laughs> That's a different type of a... Uh, it's big dude all the way. Big dude. But anyway. What was it? A pineapple or a... No. A grapefruit. Grapefruit. Side tricep. I kind of like jacked a little bit better in this one. Much more aesthetically pleasing. And I wouldn't have said that was the case in the side chest. Kai is aesthetic. Certain shots. Actually, most of the gosh darn shots he is aesthetically pleasing, including the side tricep. And it's not really a loss. I, wanna, I don't want to say he's losing. He's not winning. He's not winning. But I am sure Kai will clean house in the back shots, considering he was maybe arguably beating Phil Heath at one point. Not in this pose, maybe the rear double, but the rear lat, I don't know. I might be slightly critical towards Kai Green in this comparison because Andrew Jacked, his back looks harder, grainier. Now, granted, Kai, on a smaller frame, his back is thick. Genetically speaking, nobody has those big, thick, powerful lat insertions of Kai. Very impressive, very impressive. But Andrew Jacked, look at the hard graininess of his back. Now, lower half, Kai. Uh, condition... 
wheel size probably too good good calves just very impressive condition and here is the rear double and this is a kai green shot all the way like i said he was beating phil heath in some events they competed against each other so many times and in, you know some of the events kai was defeating him in the rear double this is a clean neat shot the likes of which you're not going to see every single day, guys. Plus that conditioning of the lower half. Of course, the upper half very conditioned, too. Taking nothing away from Jacked. This is an awesome shot, too. Definitely a good shot. Nice, clean, neat lat insertions. But this pose, unlike the rear lat, hmm, you could sort of see the, the thickness in the rear lat for Kai. But this one here, this pose right here, looks like you could just grab a hold of the lat insertions for Kai. Definite victory. Go to the abs and thigh. And Kai in the abs and thigh. You may ask why. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I could just sing through the rest of this one. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I just lost a few viewers. But anyway, anyway. Kai Green, he has a very good abs and thigh. I don't want to say he's holding his own because, well, he is. He is. Look at that quad. But make no mistake about it, those hanging abs, they just swing off the midsection of uh, Andrew Jack. He's winning the abs and thigh for sure. And in the most muscular, he is a blanket. He just covers a lot of territory, a lot of area. And Kai does Andrew Jack. And Kai, he's not the best and the most muscular. I don't mind this version. Kai does not have any weak poses. This is his lower end pose, I guess you could call it, for the lack of a better term. Because, hey, this most muscular here is defeating a lot of men up on that stage. Top men. Andrew Jack, uh, I just think he has Kai's number. In several shots. But it's not a brutal beating. And the uh, crab position. I mean this is a take your pick as well. Andrew Jacked. He's big. He's big. He's clavicle with things of that nature. But Kai. Well let's, let's face it. I love Kai. He actually commented on one of my videos one time. It was awesome. Made my day. But you know. Even, even Kai himself would say. Well you gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta be true to yourself. That's how he talks. And, and he, you know, I, I can't say that I can't vouch for the crab position most muscular for Kai Green. Who's winning overall? I would say Kai Green. I think that he was winning in the back. Well, the rear lat was good too, though, for uh, Andrew Jack. But overall, condition wise, maybe losing the front double, but winning all the other all the other poses except for the abs and thigh. Eh, most muscular was close too, guys. Let's face it. Anyway, Kai Green, hey, uh, Andrew Jack gave him a run for his money, and this is arguably the best version of Kai, so kudos to Andrew Jack. He is far, far from seeing, or we're, we are far from seeing his best version, so here's hoping for the future of Andrew Jack. Have a great one, guys.